welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. It's been a long time since I've been here. Um, I hope everybody had a fabulous holiday. I am here today to share with you guys um, just a few pieces that I'm still, you know, you guys know I'm still building a wardrobe, right? Because I had to start all back over again. So I got a bunch of trend pieces. So I don't know. I guess if you're interested in that, uh, just keep watching. Okay, so one of the trends that I wanted to participate in was the capris, right? And so these are kind of for spring, but if you wanted to wear them now, I mean, if you live in a warm climate, of course you could wear them now. But if you wanted to wear them now, you could just do it with a boot and a sweater, and I think these would be cool. And these are relaxed capris. I got them in a size six. They're in this dark rinse denim with the cuff and the cuff is sewed in and there is stretch in this like i said it runs it runs big so i would say um size down or go with your smaller size or whatever but i really really like these i think these are definitely um gonna be coming in fast and uh hard come spring and summer okay so these are the capri pants that um, I wasn't sure if they were going to fit. This is a size six. So, I'm thinking I bought an eight in the longer pant. Because y'all remember what the ugly ones that I had from that other video um, look like. And I've been wanting something with the cuff in it. So, I like this and then when it gets to be warmer outside I could just do a sling back um, there's actually a couple of pair of these I want there's a light color pair from another retailer that I'm actually gonna order because I think they're gonna look cute come summer I don't know how I feel about the capris that are like fit it all the way to the leg but I think that these are super super cute so yeah I'm definitely gonna keep these Okay, so these are the next piece. These are the same concept as those as far as it being dark rinse. And these are high rise straight cropped and they have the big cuff. Now you guys remember I had bought the one from Banana Republic. And when I watched the video back, I hated it. So I returned it and I think I found some, I haven't had a chance to look at the video yet. <laughs> because I videotaped myself, you know, try on. So I haven't had a chance. So maybe when I play back, I may hate them. If I do, I'll put a connotation up there. But these have stretch in it, but these run smaller than those do. To me, they do. So I got these in a size eight. And these are from Zara too. And these are current. They're not, um, they're not sale. These are like new, new in, okay? And one of the, one of the pieces, one of the way they styled um, the dark denim with the cuff is with this yellow sweater. And you guys know I'm a yellow fanatic. I just love yellow. Um, so I picked this sweater up. It's really like very loosely knit. So you got to have to be careful if you got rings and stuff on because you could snag it and make the holes bigger. It's definitely something that I would have to layer if I want to wear it in wintertime now. Um, come spring though, I'd be fine with just the right color bra, you know, a new bra, like the color of my skin, I should say, um, bra, but yeah, this is really cute. I got this in a small medium. A lot of times when I'm buying super oversized sweaters, um, because my breasts are so big, they just make me look bigger. So I've decided now that I'm gonna start buying, um, the smaller size of the two instead of the bigger size. But yeah, I like this a lot. This is really cool. This is, you know, you guys, I get so like kind of bogged down with all these dark colors and come like January, February, I kind of need a pick me up. You know, I, I kind of suffer sometimes from seasonal depression. So I need a pick me up and this kind of color will do so, that. Here are the jeans with the cuff. And I think this is a much better fitting jean than the one that I had from Banana Republic. Cause I returned that one when I looked at the footage, it was horrible. So I like this one better. I think I like this one. I haven't watched the footage yet. So you guys can tell me if you think this one looks better. And um, I like this yellow sweater. 
that they had on there. I've actually got a yellow coat that um, I think would look kind of cute with it. Let me get it, hold on. This wire is like very much holy, so it's not gonna keep you warm. You're gonna have to put a layer under it. I don't have a layer under it right now. But um, I feel like if you're gonna wear it, like I just kind of get, sometimes I get seasonal depression and I just get tired of all the dark drab colors and I need to pick me up and I love this yellow. This coat is actually from Banana Republic, but it's from, was it last year? I wanna say it was 2021 or 2022, I can't remember. I think it was a year before last, it might've been 2021. Um, but I still wear it. And I think, no, I think the puffy coats that they did this year are a little different, but you guys can find puffy coats anywhere. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of how I plan on wearing it. What is this in the pocket? Oh, look, I even have the hat. <laughs> but yeah, so this is kind of cute. I like this. Okay, so you guys know when I did my fall um, haul with you guys building, I told you guys about the Moxie Low Slung Barrel, Pull On Barrel pants that I got from Free People. And I have a pair in blue with patches and I have the cream pair that I showed you guys a while ago in the fall and I wore those a lot. I wore them a lot. I love, and I still love them. I still plan on wearing them, but I wanted to get another color. So I saw this color and I really, really like the fabric. The fabric of these are, it's kind of like a brushed velvet, but it kind of reminds you, you guys know I like that kind of like worn in distress, um, as you can tell. <laughs> Uh, look, so I picked these up. I love the way these look. They're, I guess if you got longer legs, they'll probably be cropped, but they're like right at the ankle. They're low slung, but you could kind of maneuver them up and down because it's not a really low, low, low rise, but they just kind of fall low on the hips. Um, but definitely these are super cute. I like the pockets in the back. See the pockets? It gives you this extra pocket. And it's just, it's a really generous cut. Now to me, like I said, these run big and my stomach's kind of went down a little bit. So I actually went down a size because the last ones I think I bought were a size 30 and these are a size 29. So I love these to death. And as long as they make these, I'm gonna continue to buy the ones that I um, am super crazy about. These are the moxie barrel leg jeans and they're in a kind of like um almost like a velvety texture like a suede velvety texture and there's some like looks like oil stains but really cool um totally my look that i like and it's like this cognac brown that i really really like um and I think I would probably wear them something. This is kind of how I envisioned it. You guys know that leopard, well, it's always in. This is my old on the go tote. So I figured I'd bring that out and this would be cute. So, I mean, when it gets a little warmer, I could just wear it with t-shirts and stuff and um, slides. Like I have the leopard slides to this, but yeah. So these are really cute. I like these a lot. Oh, yeah, these are really cute, I like these. And I think they look better um, if you have a little bit, to me, with a little bit of a heel on them, because they're so baggy. But they give me the hips that I need, so I kind of like, I like this. Okay, so I was on costs, and I bought quite a few things, but I didn't bring them all. So I'm just gonna show you the ones that I bought, what I brought. I actually need to take these to the tailor. These are a pair of yellow wool cargos, right? Wide leg. And I got them in a size eight. These definitely run big because I should have got a six in these, definitely. But I'm gonna take them to get them tailored because one, they're too long. And two, I feel like they're just a little too wide for what I want them for at the bottom. So I'm gonna have them tailored like to my body. So when you see me style these, I'm gonna do a video you guys 
on like um, pastel colors because I have I want to do a capsule where it's all pastel maybe in March yeah probably March I don't know if I'm gonna do the video then but I just mean that that's when I'm gonna probably be using the capsule so I want to you know you guys know I'm always crazy about the soft yellow so I want to do yellows this mint green pale pinks um, baby blues like you know all those kind of colors for like springtime so to go with that and this isn't going to show up well to go with that I um, got this yellow off the shoulder shirt from Zara and it looks like crap like this. It's really sheer. So you've got to put, I'm probably going to put, um, uh, well, my strapless bra, and then I'll have like a bandeau piece on there. So you can't see through it. But when I, in the try on, you guys, I just kept my bra on and slid the, because I don't have a strapless here. I just um, slid my straps down. But yeah, this soft yellow, it's really pretty. I like it. And I like the sheer because this looks good with gray. This is going to look good with denim. And you guys know I have the yellow boots. So if I want to do this with um, my boots and a pair of blue jeans, I can. If I want to do this with that cognac brown pants that I just showed you guys, I could do that. I think this is really pretty. And it looks good against my skin. The yellow off the shoulder shirt. I don't have on the right bra. I don't feel like changing. So I just slid my straps down. And then these are the pants from Koss. Um, they're a little big. They were on sale, so I think they're a final sale. But I'm just going to take them to my tailor because I think I don't want them to be quite as wide. And they need to be shortened a little bit. But I'm going to let them like lay loose like this and hang off the hips because I think these are really cute. These are cargo. And they're wool, so if I wanted to wear them in the cooler weather, I could. But I don't think I want them to be quite as wide as they are, right? And this will totally translate over into the spring. When it's winter, I can always put on um, a different top, like a thicker sweater or something. So, but yeah, I'm kind of really loving the off the shoulder. I don't have it on right because um, I just kind of threw it on for this video. But you guys get the idea. And I just have on my yellow Paris Texas boots. So, and I have a yellow coat. So in the spring, I could do like a monochromatic look. Or okay, whatever. so like I said, I've been buying some jeans from there. I've been able to comfortably wear the jeans without them giving me a horrible, horrible shape. And not, they're not bad. I don't hate them at all. These are 100% cotton, so there's no, no, there's stretch in here. So I wonder why it says 100% cotton, because I know there's some stretch. But it surely says, Zara be lying, y'all, because I think this is these thousand tags. Yeah, it says 100% cotton. Yeah, but it's got, it's got some elastane in it. I feel like maybe it isn't. I don't know. But it's, um, I got them in a size eight and they're the wide leg, but they're the mid rise, you guys. So I didn't do, I know they sell the high rise wide leg, but I was like, I want to do the mid rise because I kind of want to let it hang off the hip. These are really long though. They're like too long for me. So I'm going to take them and get them hemmed um, just so that I can wear them with sneakers as well as like a low heel pointy toe boot or a ballerina flat if I need to. But now that I know that I like these, um, and these complement my silhouette the way I kind of visual. I'm going to buy another pair of these. I like this dark color. It looks brighter in the camera, but it's really like a medium blue, like definitely a medium wash blue, kind of like muddy looking. You see what I'm saying? It's like that, but it looks good. It looks cute on. So I totally, totally okay. love that. And then with that, I got this cream cotton one shoulder little top really inexpensive you guys and i've been looking for like little cheap shirts like this you know that i call them bar shirts you know um i have a black off the shoulder one that i got from uh banana republic that i wore to death 
And so I saw these in there and this one came in black. This is only one shoulder. So this one came in black and it also came in like a green, like a khaki kind of green. So I'm definitely gonna go and get those I, I want. But once I tried this on, I'm like, okay, um, I like it a lot. So again, in the try on, I don't have the right bra and stuff on, but you'll get the hint of how I'm gonna wear it. And yeah, I totally, I totally love this. Okay, so this is like just the little cheap cotton one shoulder shirt. And I think I'm gonna start collecting stuff like this. This came in a few other colors, so I like this one. So I'm probably gonna get the other ones. There was a green and I wanna say black, I think. So definitely gonna get the other ones. And they were really inexpensive. And these will be cute with like, um, you know guys, I wear a ton of jeans because I have a casual life. So these will be cute with jeans and I could even do it with joggers. I could do it with shorts, you know. It'll just be like little sexy bar tops, you know. And these are the wide legged jeans. Um, and these are a size eight. So they fit pretty good. They're a little too long though, so I'm gonna get them, cause I'm gonna be dragging the floor. And I'm gonna get them hemmed, like brought up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I basically like them though. I think they're gonna they're gonna work out pretty good. I like this and I like the wash on them. Okay, I also picked up some outerwear and I there was that uh, viral Zara jacket that was all over TikTok, all over Instagram, like everybody had it. But it was like the muddy gray one. It's kind of like cream and gray kind of. And I saw that one, I didn't like it. I didn't like that color. I think it's cool, but I just, I didn't want it in my wardrobe. But when it came out in cream, cause when they restocked it, you know it had sold out. So when they restocked it, it came out in this, ooh, it came out in this luscious, luscious, pretty beautiful cream. And I just think this looks so rich. And this is definitely something, you guys know I've been like fur crazy. I'm forever throwing on my black one with denim and wherever I want to wear it with. And um, I wanted a cream one. The one that I was supposed to get from J. Crew when I went on to get it, it was sold out. So I found this one, which I love. So this is the viral faux fur from Zara. Um, if you were on TikTok or anywhere, you've probably seen this code a million times. Although, I only saw it in the gray, and then when it came back, like they restocked it, they restocked it in this cream. I didn't like the, I like the style of the gray. It's like a cream gray, kind of like muddy looking color. Um, I didn't, I wasn't too fond of it, let's just put it that way. But this cream, I think is really cute. And this is gonna be adorable with, I probably wear it just like this jeans yeah i probably wear it just like this um you guys know i'm full for crazy and i wear my black one to death so i wanted to get another one i was supposed to get the one from j crew remember guys and then when i went on to get it it was sold out so and it never restocked so i'm just going to use this one this is what the jeans look like in the back so they don't give me saggy booty so i'm good it's just the pants are a little too long um, so I'm going to get that, but yeah, totally, totally love the faux fur. So. While I was in the store, I came across this and I know this is one of the trends and it's a skirt over pant trend. And I thought that probably looks weird and it's probably going to make you look bigger because it's two pieces of material. But then I remember Max, you don't have any hips. So anything that's gonna kind of balance you out there will kind of look good on your silhouette. So I brought it home and it was marked way down. Um, I think I only paid $12.99 for it. Um, the ticket says 30, but it was down lower than that. Um, so yeah, so I got this and I love this a lot. My husband saw me try this on and he was like, I really like that on you. So I, on, a, on our next date night, I'm probably, unless we're going bowling or pool playing pool or something but if we're going to go out to eat or something i'm definitely going to wear i'm going to wear this this is really cool and sexy i like this a lot okay so i kind of am digging the skirt over pants trend 
And if I'm gonna be indulging in some trendy pieces, I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on them. Um, so this was definitely clearance. I think the final clearance I got it for maybe it was $12.99 or something because I got it in store. Um, but yeah. So I don't think they're online. I think they're sold out online because I was gonna get a smaller size. It said it ran small and this is a 10. So, I mean, I guess it's okay, but I just think that maybe I could have went down a little bit, one, one size. Um, I think I need to hem it, but I like it. I'm totally gonna just wear it with something fitted up top. I bought, I was in Aritzia, and I got some more stuff from Aritzia, but I couldn't bring all this stuff here. So these are, this is what I packed in there, and I don't even think I was gonna pack this. I think I was supposed to do the Aritzia haul separate, but you guys will get it later. Um, but anyway, so these are the pants that I picked up, because you know, they had a huge sale going on, so I got quite a few things that I think I needed. Um, I got a lot of exercise stuff from there. So yeah, next haul, I'll, I'll be sure to show you guys that. But anyway, so I got these dress pants and they're the ones where they turn down, the waistband turns down, so you'll see that. And these are from Babaton and what are they called? I don't know the name of them, but they have the best fabric, you guys. This fabric is from Italy. The pants are fully lined. Um, they just make the best. Aritzia makes really nice pieces. I mean, you, like I said before in the other video, you really have to inspect each piece though um, because some pieces will be great and then some pieces will be made crappy. But, you know, I'm pretty good about going through and looking at the pieces that I get from Aritzia to make sure that since I'm paying a pretty penny for them. But okay, so these are the Aritzia pants that have the turn, it turns down. So I guess if you wanted to wear them up, you could. And you could also turn them down. So I think this would look cute. If you have a flat stomach, which I don't have, um, you could do a crop shirt. But I'm just gonna do, I can do crop, but it'll have to be like a longer crop to beat it. And it's gonna swing out. I'm gonna do a t-shirt like when it's warmer. You could do sneakers. Right now I'm wearing it with um, heel boots, but yeah. Okay, and then this coat I got from Banana Republic, and this is the coat that kind of goes in at the waist, and it's long all the way to the ground, and it has the split vent in the back, and it's wool, and what is the fabric of this? It's a fine Italian fabric, but I want to say it's probably... I think it's like 80% wool or 90% wool. It might be 100%. I don't know. I can't see it, you guys. But you guys know that Banana Republic makes their pieces really, really well. This is the Banana Republic fitted coat fitted in the waist. Um, it's kind of like the hourglass coat. I know you guys have probably seen a million of one of these because this coat is like everywhere. Um, all over TikTok, everybody's like, getting it, but I like it a lot. Um, I like how it cinches you in. And this looks like a great basic black coat. I had a tweed one like from last year, I think I got from Banana Republic, it was like black and gray tweed. And I need to tailor it in the waist because now of course it's too big. Um, Cause I think that one was an extra large. This one is I think a medium. So yes, it, um, I like it, I like it a lot. It's really well done. This piece right here, you're gonna have to probably de-lint, you know, um, because it's gonna pick up hair just by the way the fabric is. I can see it already, it's picking up hair and it's just been hanging on a rack. Um, but it's fully lined, you guys, and they even give you like the pockets like the men have on the inside of the coats, which usually lets you know that it's made well. The stitching is really good. 
The buttons were reinforced because that's one of my pet peeves. You get a coat and you go to button it and the button falls off. That pisses me the hell off so bad. So I never had that problem really with Banana Republic and their pieces. Usually my buttons are really, really on there good. And I like the way that it's made. Like look at all the darting in the back of the coat. Really great coat. Okay, last piece. Now this is actually an outfit that I actually wore today. Um, so I had, these pants are from Zara and they have the side zip. They're long dress pants and they have like the boxer kind of look coming out of it. Kind of remember how Miu Miu was doing that um, boxer look. So this is Zara's play on it and it has a string here that you just tie. And I think this comes in several colors, pinstripe, black. I think I've seen it in beige, gray. I've seen it in a lot of colors. Um, I just wanted the black pair. And these, what I like about these is you could totally make these casual, totally. And they're not as good a quality as what I got from Aritzia that with the turn down. And again, Aritzia, you can pull it up so you'll get a different look with it that way. But these are definitely, you can only wear them this way so you're always gonna see this. This is definitely a trend. This isn't something that I would spend a lot of money on, you know? I think they were like 50 bucks or something like that. Um, if they were that, I don't remember. If they're still available, because I don't think these weren't on sale. So if they're still for sale on Zara, I'll try to link them below. Um, if not, like I said, check in store. But yeah, they come in several colors. Okay, so these are the last pair. And this is actually what I wore today. I actually wore these and I'm just wearing them with um, my Hermes combat boots and they're comfortable. They run a little big though. So I would say you could size down in these. At least that's how I feel. These are an eight, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like a person, if they didn't have a stomach, they could go down in them. So give up. Okay, so this is my, um, equestrian coat it's got the horses all over it and i love it it is reversible i actually got it on sale guys um and because i want to say it was regular maybe 200 and something dollars or 300 dollars. i don't remember but i got it really really i think i want to say i got it for 70 dollars, 69.99 or something like that and i really like it a lot um but it was in store where i got it from so if I can find it online, I'll link it. If I can't, I won't. But it's a nice, like, um, it has like a sheen to it. The fabric feels like, um, like it feels like a, a blend of like satin and cotton kind of mixed together. But it's a nice, it's a nice like little sheen to it. And it's kind of in this accrue color. And I like how the horses have this um, kind of like drawn on print. Like in black and white. I think it's a really classy coat. Okay, so this is a statement coat. And it's got um, horses all over it. And I love it. So I'm basically, I wore it today. So this is kind of like my outfit of the day. And I'm basically like when it, because it was not really super cold today. It was probably like 45, 50. So I was layered up. It was warm enough for me. And I wasn't walking, I was in the car, so. But this was a really pretty statement coat. I like it. It can go on both sides, so it, it, you can, um, it's reversible. You can wear it on all black, but I like this, and I love horses. I love anything Western kind of looking or equestrian coat. I wore it today, I got a lot of compliments on it. And I plan on wearing it with like leggings and a turtleneck and, um, Hermes riding boots, or some riding boots, I should say. Um, but Hermes riding boots would be nice, don't you think? I think this is really cool. This is a piece, though, if you find it to buy it online or wherever, um, to me it ran, well, it didn't run small. It probably runs normal in the arms, but for me, I needed to get the large because of my arms, because um, of the skin you know, I have on my arms. And the body of it is really loose on me, but I really, really like this. And I feel like if I go down anymore, I'll see if I can tailor the body down a little bit more. But it is reversible, so if you don't want to wear the horse part, you could totally do it in all black. So that is my complete haul. What am I wearing right now? Um, 
Well, I've got on lounge clothes because I'm cooking dinner. Um, I decided to cook here. And I am wearing, um, what is it called? Montplier. I don't know the name of it, but if I can link it from Aritzi, I will. One of the sweaters. I don't think they have this color because I think this was a clearance color. Um, but they have this style of sweater and it comes in a bunch of colors. And I'm wearing the Susan Kaplan vintage earrings. Um, and I love all of the Susan Kaplan earrings. Turquoise is like something I'm totally going to be rocking. I love turquoise with black. And I love it also with brown. I think it looks really pretty with brown. And that's it. That's it, you guys. Oh, and I'm just wearing the gray sweater pants from Gap. You know, the lounge pants. Like I said, I just got on lounge clothes. So that's everything I have for you guys. I will be back when I get another chance to um, have you guys help me style some pieces. Because I got to start being able to build some outfits, you know. I'm getting kind of like... I have like my favorite tops, you know what I mean? And I keep recycling the same tops and I'm like, okay, these are starting to get stale. And so until I find my little permanent style, I'm just kind of going to dabble in some of the um, trendier pieces just to play with it. Because I have all the classics that I think I really need. I just need some trend to kind of play with it a little bit. So like I said, that's everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.